Hello everyone, I'm Lim. Just now you might wonder, what happened? What was that? I believe you already have watched my last video that is about fixing the 13 Pro screen problem, display issue by bringing a jumper to the screen, you remember? If you didn't, then you should watch it first before you come to this video. So I think the thing you want to ask is, what was that? What's the thing I'm holding? That one is just a lighter emission. You can dismantle it from a lighter. What have I done is I found there's an over voltage line and then you use that to send a spark into that dot and somehow it has reduced the voltage and back to normal again. I'm recording this video is because some of my students that send me this kind of video and they keep asking, oh, what happened? Hey, what did they do? Hey, it seems like magic because they don't explain what's the reason behind it. So in the first two minutes, I already have explained by measure with multimeter before and after. So you should know it by now. I hope you don't blindly to apply any solution that you saw from internet. Even the trick that I have done in my last video, bringing the resistor, the jumper, you must need to know what you are doing. Do you have a same problem? Especially this type of a problem, you need to measure before you apply the trick. I know some dots that are over voltage or they are missing is because I have compared with another screen. I have my own database. So the following video is about a full progress by using the same trick and I see you in the end of the video. Okay, today we have a case. I should say I have two cases that is common disease, LCD screen problem. Some, you know, especially in Malaysia, we prefer call it as LCD, even thought it is a OLED. But because my video, most of the audience, they are the end user. So I will just keep calling it LCD screen, LCD screen. And this is the common problem. And we will try to fix that. And this is the 13 Pro Max. Uh, the problem is a little different. I see a lot of lines that are running like this way. I'm not really sure. Is it the same box? So let's try to fix it. So when the screen is on, we have to measure the voltage. But I'm gonna unplug the battery and scratch it. I will count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? Also, in here, I will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, number 6, 6 and 7 will be enough. Okay. Now, connect back the battery, turn it on. Alright. And then quickly measure while it has the display. Zero point eight in here. 2.6 and the display is gone need to wake up the screen and measure again 4.6 0 0.8 6 volt. Six. Six watt in here, zero point eight, one point six. This one it seems overpower. 
let's try the you know send in a shot well like the method See, this space back. Then I measure again. When the screen is working, this dot it should be. Wait. Okay. Turn on the display again. And now. Measure this stop zero point eight. Okay, understand. So, as you can see from the video, it is almost every day I have fixed this kind of iPhone 13 series screen problem. In just last month, October, I already have fixed more than 20 devices, and so far, none of them dare return. Even one or two customer I use a special trick like this, I'm still expecting they will return, but luckily they haven't. Because even they have, I will have another trick for it. If I really have a chance to show you there's another trick, yeah, I will make the video. By the way, I forgot to tell you that even you want to do a database from the screen, every dot. The first condition, of course, is when it is booting up, when it has the display. The second thing I want to mention is you cannot fully trust your multimeter because the multimeter is too slow. Some dots, they are unable to tell you the exact voltage because maybe there's a dot you find it is just 1.8 voltage. But if you use the oscillator scope, it might be saying it is a 3.0 or maybe 5.0 because it is so fast, you know, going 5.0 and then drops to zero, 5.0 drops to zero, hundreds of the times, one second. And then your multimeter can only like getting the result in between. That's why he show you, uh, it's just like 1.9, 1.8, like that. So if you really want to do the research database, it's best you use the oscillator scope. Also, when you find there's a missing voltage, you can use the DC power supply to apply the voltage into that dot and then reboot the phone. I can say it is all hardworking. This is why I don't share my own database into public. So that's it for the lesson and I see you on the next video. Bye.